Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about chart layouts using the TradingView platform. Now, if you're not familiar with chart layouts, chart layouts are going to essentially allow you to view multiple charts per tab whenever you're using your TradingView platform. Now, when I say per tab, TradingView is available in different formats. It's available as a mobile application. It's available as a browser-based platform and also available as a desktop app. So right now, currently, I'm currently using TradingView in my Google Chrome browser. And you can see that this is basically populated in a tab here on the top left corner. So for example, if I wanted to open up multiple charts per tab, you're going to have to have certain plans for TradingView in order for you to access this particular feature. So before we get started, I just want to take you real quick to the comparison page on TradingView's website, which will give you an idea of what plans are going to allow you to use this particular function. Unfortunately, if you're using a free basic version of the software, as you can see here, charts per tab is only limited to one. So that means that you're not going to be able to view multiple charts per tab. You basically are limited to just one chart per tab. So you can see all the different plans and it'll tell you how many charts per tab that you can access. So if you are using a free basic plan, you want to be able to take advantage of this feature. Just make sure you upgrade your trading view plan to a specific plan based on your preference on how many charts that you wish to view per tab. Now going back to the platform to access the actual chart layout tab, it's very easy. On the top right corner, it's a square here. Once you click it, this is going to give you all the available chart per tab layouts that are available based on your specific plan that you have with TradingView. So currently we're using an ultimate plan. This basically gives us the maximum capacity, which is 16 charts per tab. And if you notice all the little icons, this is essentially going to give you a preview of what the layout is going to look like, look like once you choose that specific layout. So for example, I'm going to keep this very simple. I'm going to use a two chart per tab layout. There's multiple options on the two chart per layout, as you can see here. We can either have the chart stacked side by side or we can have them stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to choose the second option here and stack them on top of each other. Once you select it, notice now you actually have two charts on the actual workspace. We have the micro e-mini S&P 500 on the top and we have the micro e-mini NASDAQ at the bottom. Now also when you notice there's a blue box above the top chart or better yet around the top box top chart this is basically letting you know that th that specific chart is selected so if i click here on the bottom the bottom chart that is notice now that blue box is around the micro e mini nasdaq chart the reason why this is important to understand is because if whenever you're trying to make charge uh, changes independently for each chart you want to make sure that you actually select that specific chart and how you know that it's selected is by that blue box so let's just say for example i want to add a macd indicator on the micro e mini s p 500 chart i'm going to click it first now you notice there's a blue box around it now I can click on indicators and I can add the MACD and I can simply add it to the top chart. And notice it doesn't add it to the bottom one. Now I can go click on the bottom, I can go to indicators and I can add a different indicator specifically for the micro NASDAQ. And notice now that indicator has been added only for the micro NASDAQ chart. All right. Another thing that I want to point out as well, there are some different preferences that you can select within your chart layouts at the bottom here. Notice there's a sync and layout option. So essentially what this is going to do, you have different options such as symbol, interval, crosshair, time, and date range. So if you activate any of these particular preferences, it's going to synchronize the charts that you have in your chart layouts to synchronize based on either, either the symbol, the interval, the crosshair, time, or date range. So let's just, for an example, let's activate a few. Let's activate the crosshair and let's activate as well as the interval. So right now, let's, I'm going to deactivate interval for just a quick second. But notice the crosshair is in sync. So whenever I hover my mouse cursor over a specific chart, that crosshair is always going to be in sync, as you can see there. Now notice the time frame here on the micro even the S&P 500 is one, and also the micro NASDAQ is one as well. I'm going to change the time frame on the micro S&P 500 to 15. And notice now that's a 15 minute chart, and that's still a one minute chart. Now if I go back to my chart layout preferences under sync and layout, if I activate the interval, Notice now it automatically synchronizes the time frame. So whatever time frame that I activate for any chart within my layout, let's just change this back to one, every chart is going to be synchronized as long as you have that preference enabled in the sync and layout option. And this is pretty much how you use chart layouts using the TradingView platform.